In this video I'm going to give you some more examples of domains. So given this function here, plotting a 3D graph plotter, it will give you this surface. So let's try and find the domain. So when it comes to domain, try and figure out which uh, what will break it down. Well, if the denominator equals zero, then the whole thing will break down. So demand that this thing here, demand this thing here cannot be zero. We need to make this demand. And then uh, what, is that, what does this mean? So let's add two to both sides. So it means that um, e to the power of xy cannot be, cannot be two. So uh, what does that mean? Let's, um, let's try and take the natural log of both sides. Take the natural log of both sides. Uh, that will then give you x, y. Um, what does this mean? Let's, let's rearrange it to make y the subject. So y uh, cannot be uh, the constant natural log of 2 over x. What does this mean? Well, let's, let's just imagine y equals, well, let's just sketch this graph here. Let's just sketch this graph here. It will look something like this. Um, well, this is just a constant. So, so it's of the form y. It's, it's very similar to um, 1 over x, but you've got this constant here. So it's going to be very similar to y equals 1 over x. So your, your domain is actually everything. Your, your domain, um, x, y, your domain is everything is fine except for the except for this line because you're demanding that um, y cannot be this thing here. Well, here's a graph here. So so your domain is everything is is perfectly fine except from this line and this line. And then if you look at this uh, this surface, uh, your your x axis is somewhere around here. Your y axis is somewhere around here. Your z axis is up here. If you look down on this thing here, you can actually see that so one over x near enough. Sorry, not one over x. This uh, natural log of two over x is this thing here. So plot this into a three D plotter, and then uh, use this, use this rotate thing, and look down on here, and you can see um, this uh, y equals natural log of 2 over x. So your domain would be this. x, y, here's another one. Remember, there are lots of ways of writing domains depending on your teacher. Here's another way of writing it. x, y uh, belongs to this real number plane um, such that uh, y cannot be this thing here. Well, here's your domain. Okay. Next example. So what is the domain? Uh, what is the domain for this? Um, so when would this thing break down? It will break down when um, when this thing cannot be. Yeah, it will break down when this thing equals zero. So we need to demand that this thing cannot be zero. So what that means is this. Um, what that means is it can't lie on this, and it can't lie on this because y here equals 0 and then x here x equals 0 is this vertical line so just bear in mind that um, our domain um, our domain cannot lie on on the y axis and it cannot lie on the x axis so if you if you look at this um, well it, it can't lie on the y axis and it can't lie on the x axis so the next thing to consider is this thing here remember natural log the domain for natural log is that it has to be strictly greater than than zero. So we need to demand that this thing, we need to demand that this thing be greater than zero. What does that mean? Uh, let's rearrange it. Let's take away x. So y greater than negative x. So if you sketch this, x, y, so imagine it imagine as y equals negative x. So that's this line here. And then let's select um, an easy point. Let's select uh, 0, 1. So uh, select 0, 1. So uh, put this into here. So that will be 0. And then, uh, and then put, one, put 1 into the y. You see this thing here is greater than 0. So, uh, so, so this region here is good. So when you when you state this, it's actually everything here. 
So that's that's your region. And uh, and remember earlier, earlier on this, we it cannot be the the uh, the y axis and it can't be the uh, x axis. So your domain is actually this. Your domain is actually this. Hang on. So remember, this thing here is saying that everything here is good. This thing here is saying that it can't be this and it can't be this. So it's saying everything here except from this vertical line here. So that so that's your domain, it's everything here. Okay, so so your domain is this. XY uh belonging to R squared uh such that X cannot be zero, that's this thing here, and Y cannot be zero. Oh I forgot about this earlier. Uh and then Y cannot be zero and uh we need to demand this. Uh this is describing everything here. So your domain is actually this. Everything here is fine except from this vertical line. Everything here is fine. Everything here is fine except from this horizontal line. And then if you look carefully, there is your, well, play around, get a 3D graph plotter, plot this, and then use a rotate button, look down on it, and hopefully you can see this thing here. Okay, so this is your domain here with the squared here. Okay.